Welcome to our lecture online. The last topic in this playlist is dealing with whether or not lines are perpendicular. And we find out that if two lines are indeed perpendicular, then the slope of one line equals the negative inverse of the slope of the other line. So here we have an example. We have two lines, one that is y equals 4x plus 2, another that is y equals minus 1 4x minus 3. And notice we can write those equations in general format where m1 and b1 are the slope and the y-intercept of the first line and m2 and b2 are the slope and the y-intercept of the second line. So all we have to do is take a look at the slope of the one line and the slope of the other line and see if this condition is indeed true. If that condition is true, then we know that the lines are perpendicular. So the question is, is... And then we go right here, m1, which is 4, equal to negative 1 over m2, which is minus 1 over 4. So here is m1 and there is m2. And so that's, of course, the question mark. If that is indeed true, if the left side equals the right side, then the two lines are perpendicular. So first of all, we have a negative and a negative. So we can multiply both the top and the bottom by negative. So we can say that 4 is equal to 1 over 1 quarter. And of course, that's still question mark we don't know if that's the case and of course when we divide by a fraction it's the same as multiplying by its inverse so 4 equals 1 multiplied times 4 over 1 question mark and of course that is equal to 4 equals 4 and indeed we found that the left side equals the right side which means that this condition does indeed match for those two equations which means that those two lines are indeed perpendicular to one another and that you is how it Okay, all right. So, let's go ahead on the advice of my She's wife, and my lovely wife. <laughs> I'm going to draw these two graphs on the, same, on the same XY plane to see if they indeed look perpendicular to one another. And of course, they are in the slope y-intercept form, so it should be relatively easy to graph them. So let's graph the first one. Notice that the intercept is a 2, this is the y-axis, this is the x-axis. So 1, 2, the intercept is right there. And the slope is 4 to 1. So we go up 4, 1, well, let's see, let me make that a little bit bigger. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and over 1, right there. So I can connect those two lines, and there is line 1. All right, now let's graph the second line. Notice that the intercept is minus one third, uh, minus three, so one, two, three. There's the intercept, and the slope is minus a quarter. So we go down one, over one, down one, over one. So down one, uh, over four. So down one, one, two, three, four. Over, down one, one, two, three, four. So if we connect those lines, and we continue over here, then notice that yes, they do appear to be perpendicular. Line 2, and of course it's not going to be perfect because this was freehand drawing, but it does give a pretty good indication that the two lines are indeed perpendicular, but this is the way you can definitely decide if they're perpendicular, if they match this condition right there. And they do. And that is how it's done.